Today we are covering questions that's under total unchanged or what we call constant total. Under what conditions will the total be unchanged or what we call constant total in both ratio? It is internal transfer. What is internal transfer? Let's say we have two bags of paper clips, bag A and bag B. There are 10 paper clips in bag A and 4 paper clips in bag B. Let me write it down. So, an internal transfer happens when you move paper clips from one bag to the other. In this case, from bag A to bag B or from bag B to bag A. Now let's try it out. Let's observe the total paper clips we have first. Total is 14. So, let's move three paper clips from bag A to bag B. Do we still have a total of 14 paper clips? Let's check it out. In bag A, we have seven paper clips. And bag B, we have two, four, six, seven as well. We still have 14 paper clips. Now, let's move four paper clips from bag B to bag A. Do you notice that we still have a total of 14 paper clips? Let's check it out. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 on back A. And we have 3 on back B. And the total remains as 14. So, in conclusion, whenever there is an internal transfer of no matter how many items, regardless of quantity, the total will always remain the same. That's provided you make an internal transfer. Okay, so that's what we call constant total or total unchanged when we have an internal transfer in the story that's covered. So, how do we apply this concept of total unchanged in ratio word problems? Let's take a look at a few examples. Let's take a look at the first question we have here. The ratio of the amount of money that Raj had to the amount that Ali had was 3 is to 4. After Ali gave $52 to Raj, so I drew an arrow here to indicate the transfer of $52. They had the same amount of money. Now, you observe I always have two sets of ratio to compare, but in this case, the question only gave us one. So what is the second ratio? Since they had the same amount of money, I can say that the ratio is 1 is to 1. It's equal because they have the same amount of money. Okay, so this is an internal transfer of $52 from one person to another person in the same story. So, which means the total should be unchanged. I've written down the concept at the bottom to remind you. What does it mean total, total unchanged? So let's look at the first set of ratio. I'm going to include this total column. And how many units are there? 3 plus 4, I have 7 units. So since there is an internal transfer, the total should may remain unchanged for the other set of ratio. But check it out, there's only 2 units. Which means total of 7 and 2, they should be the same. We are going to make a common multiple out of these two numbers. 7 and 2, we have 14. Okay, so now we have to change them into equivalent ratio based on the total that they have. So 7 multiplies by 2 gives me 14, which means I have to multiply the rest of Raj and Ali's ratio as well. So 4 times 2 gives me 8, 3 times 2 gives me 6. For the other ratio, I need to multiply by 7. 2 times 7 gives me 14, and then the other one, I'll have 7 and 7. Now, with our new ratio, let's observe what has happened. If you look under Raj, before that, he had 6 units, but after, he had 7. What happened? Because in the story, remember, Ali gave $52 to Raj. 
So you will see under Ali, he had 8 units before, but 7 after. Because he transferred that 1 unit to his friend, Raj. So we can tell that 1 unit difference is equal to $52. Now back to the question, how much did they have all together? Well, in both ratio, it's 14 units for both because internal transfer, the total remain unchanged. So we are just finding 14 units. 52 times 14. Since we know one unit, the question can be easily solved. And our answer is $728. And that's it. The next question we have here is a question from paper 2 which allows you to use the calculator and it's a 3 mark question. The ratio of the volume of liquid in container A to the volume of liquid in container B was 5 to 2. In every question, you have to look out for the keywords. Now, the next sentence is the key phrase. When 112 milliliters of liquid from container A was poured into container B. So 112 ml. Then for sure you know that this is an internal transfer. And that tells me the total will be unchanged. So what happens next? The ratio after the internal transfer became 1 is to 2. And since the total is unchanged, I'm going to add a new column for the total. So for the column on the left hand side, we have 7 units. And for the ratio on the right hand side, we have 3 units. And since they should remain constant, 7 and 3 should be of the same value so that we are able to compare. So 7 and 3, the common multiple is 21. So we're going to change both ratio into this ratio units of 21. For the ratio on the right hand side, we need to multiply by 3. 7 times 3 gives me 21. 2 times 3 gives me 6. 5 times 3 gives me 15. For the ratio on the right hand side, I need to multiply by 7. 3 times 7, 21. 2 times 7, 14. And 1 times 7, 7. Now with that two sets of ratio, let's do a little bit of analysis. Okay, let's take a look. 15 units in A at first, but it became 7. Why? Because there was an internal transfer of 112 milliliters. So if I were to take 15 units minus 7 units, I see a change of how many units? 8 units. Let's see if it's true for the other container. For container B, there were 6 units at first, but it became 14 because water from container B was transferred into B, uh, from A into B. So let's see, we'll take 14, that's after, minus 6, how I got the number, it's from here and here. And I also get 8. So for sure, I know that the internal transfer that 8 units of movement is equals to 112 milliliters. Now with that, I always like to find the key to the question. That is the most important step to find one unit. So 112 divided by 8, I get 14. Now back to the question, what was the volume of liquid in container B in the end? Look for the correct ratio. This is the end ratio, but you look at the new ratio, which is 14. So we are finding 14 units. 1 unit is 14, so 14 units will be 14 times 14. That gives us 196. So my answer is 196 milliliters. At this point in time, you should know this skill. To change ratio to equivalent ratio based on total unchanged. Pause the video and try this question before I go through it. Remember to look out for internal transfer and to apply the total unchanged concept. Nuru and Jising had some money in the ratio of 9 to 5. 
after Nuru gave Zixin $315. The moment I see this, I know it is an internal transfer and I have to apply the total unchanged concept inside. And I know the ratio of the money that Nuru and Zixin had became 4 is to 5. So immediately, I put in my total. 9 plus 5, I have 14. 4 plus 5, I get 9. Wow, the number is very far apart and it's very hard to find a common multiple. So if worse come to worse, you just take 14 times 9, which gives me 126. 126 okay so how do I get 126 I take 14 times 9 so 5 times 9 gives me 45 9 times 9 81 for the column on the right hand side let's check it out I need to multiply by 14 5 times 14 gives me 70 4 times 14 gives me 56. So let's analyze a little bit about our ratio. This is a new ratio. So 81, Nuru had 81, but it became 56. What happened? 81 minus 56. Let's see. The units changed. 25 units deducted. Why? Because of this $315 that's been transferred. So we can say that 25 units is equals to 315 and find the key which is one unit. 315 divided by 25 gives me $12.60. Okay, let's zoom straight to the question. A. How much did Nuru have at first? So we go to before the ratio before and we zoom straight into Nuru before she had 81 units we already found one unit so 81 is just 1260 times 81 and this question you can use the calculator so the answer is $1,020.60 that's the answer for A now B how much money did Zixing have in the end? So we go to the end ratio. Zixing, don't look at the old ratio, look at the new one, which is 70. So 70 units is equal to $12.60 times 70. Gives me $882. And that's my final answer. Do you get this correct? This is the last question we have. The ratio of the volume of water in jug A to the volume of water in jug B is 8 is to 3. After 50 milliliters of water was poured from A to B. So immediately, again, it's internal transfer. And then now the new ratio, let's see. They say that jug A had twice the amount of water in jug B but they did not give us any ratio but how do we change that to a ratio remember twice the amount so if B has one unit A will have two units and that is our ratio so let's take a look if there's internal transfer which means our total will be constant the total is unchanged for both scenario so we're going to add in total here and we have 8 plus 3 equals to 11 2 plus 1 equals to 3. So we have 3 and we have 11. The common multiple, we will take it as 33. So to change 11 to 33, we need to multiply by 3. So 3 times 3 gives us 9. 8 times 3, 24. And the next one, we have to multiply by 11. So we have 11 and we have 22. So let's observe the change we have now. 
24 units for A before and 22 units after. The reduction is due to the transference of 50 ml. So our first step is to take 24 minus 22, we get 2 units. That 2 units is equivalent to 50 ml. And now they want us to find out how much water was there in jug B in the end. So jug B and always refer to the correct new ratio which is 11 units. I'm finding 11 units. So our first step is to find 1 unit. So 50 divided by 2 and then I find my 11 units. So sometimes I can combine them into one equation and my answer is 275 ml. That's my final answer.